I asked my father for advice, who I don't usually go to for advice, but I thought it might be worth trying. And I asked him what he would do if he was in my position as somebody who's about to graduate, doesn't really know what they want to do. He was like, if I was your age, I'd be getting into cybersecurity, which is really specific. He could have said tech, but he said cybersecurity. And I'm like, oh, you know, like, I don't know anything about computers. I'm not really into hacking. That's not my thing. But he's like, no, you don't have to, you know, do hacking to work in cybersecurity. You could do risk and compliance, which is kind of the roles that he saw me in because I do a lot of writing and reading and stuff like that. Really, I just wanted to challenge myself and see if I could do it, given that I had no technical background. I was thinking about like job security. Like I wanted a job that would provide me with financial independence. I want to move out and go live my life somewhere else. I was worried I wouldn't be able to do that on a public school teacher salary, especially since I would be a new teacher. You know, like I've heard that this is a really popular, well-paying field and I didn't know anything about cybersecurity. I'm especially not technical or wasn't technical. So I'm like, you know, like, I'll give it a try and see. It's an interest that I've been nurturing. Like, I feel like there's two sides of me. There's the side of me that likes philosophy. And now there's another side of me that has to do with tech and computers and cybersecurity and thinking about how to protect my information and stuff like that. I had no idea about networking, how any of that worked. I actually tried to teach it to myself. Just give me some books. I'm going to learn it. Oh my gosh, it was the most horrific experience, like trying to teach myself, especially not having like a passion or technical background. I'm like, what does any of this even mean? Like, I cannot understand how this applies in real life. I think that some other boot camps were asynchronous as well. But one of the things that stood out to me about Springboard was that it said that it could be completed within six months or earlier if you, you know, dedicated more time. I really liked that you could finish early if you wanted to. That was a really big thing for me because some boot camps were eight months long or maybe only three months long. I'm like, well, that seems really intense. I still have to work. I need something I can kind of do on my own pace. Another thing that I liked about Springboard was the option to pay once you got the job. But I thought that that was really cool and worthwhile for somebody who was trying to make a career leap. So those were some things that stood out and made me pick Springboard over other boot camps. I really liked the way that the course was structured. I went to college while it was COVID, so I got to see how academia and higher ed was doing online. And it was like, couldn't even compare to Springboard. Like everything is just really well designed. It just flowed really well. I loved it. One feature that I really liked, I think it was called like your weekly goal and you could set how many hours you wanted and build up the points. And it allowed me to kind of plan what to do each day. Okay, this day I need to watch this lecture and do this mini project. And tomorrow I can kind of go easy if I finish those two. But if I don't, then I can split up between the two days. I also had a really cool mentor, Victor. He was great. He was super helpful. Honestly, I didn't need him so much for support in terms of like technical stuff. I think there's only one project where I needed him to help me like go over it. I found that it was really useful to go to the Slack channel and ask other students how they made it through the project, what they did. That was helpful in some cases. I finished the coursework in April and and I finished my like mock interviews and my sec plus in May, which was my goal when I started in January because I graduated in mid-May. I wanted to be done by my graduation and over with it. The last week of May, I got a job offer, which was really great because I've been applying to jobs even before I got my security plus. Every entry level job wanted three plus years experience. I'm like, oh my goodness, that is not me. <laughs> I have no experience. I mean, I had job experience, but not, you know, the technical experience that they were looking for. I was really fortunate to network with some people at a graduation party that I actually did informational interviews back in like February with. So they asked me like, how's your program going? I'm like, oh, it's going really well. I just finished. I got my security plus. I just got my degree. You know, I graduated. Now, you know, applying for jobs and looking. One of the guys that I conducted an interview with said, oh, you know, like, I think I have something open. Let me get back to you in a couple of days. And then, bam. I got a job as a system administrator. I really enjoyed my experience. Like I was asked to do like surveys and to review and they're like, what are some cons? I'm like, honestly, we don't really have any cons. Any roadblock or problem I ran into was easily remedied or resolved. If I struggled with maybe a project, I talked to people. If I had a technical problem, then I reached out to the people I needed to reach out to. Like everything went really smooth. I think Springboard has really hit the online like 
learning on the head. It's a very smooth experience. It's designed really well. It's easy to stay like motivated and on track. One other thing that I really loved was all of the different resources and different mediums. One day I might have to write a paper. Another day I would watch a video. Another day I would do a lab. Like so many different types of materials to use because it could easily be like, I watch a lecture five days in a row. Well, that's gonna get boring at some point and I'm not gonna be retaining any of the information like I want to. If I was to complete a video and I'm going to do a lab recapping what I learned in that video, like that kind of really cements the learning, I think. I'm really a big fan of Springboard. If I ever do another career jump, maybe I will come back. But for now, I'll do this. Do your research if you'd like to do a career change. I know a lot of people are trying to get into tech right now. I was one of them and had no idea what was in store for me. I feel like it's always nice to talk to a bunch of different people. So I did. I talked to a bunch of other people while I did the springboard program. And now I feel like I have like a more of a community now that I can bounce back on if I have any concerns or questions. So that's been really nice.